Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with another Mega Hidden Gems video and today we'll be looking at 10 great games beginning with E that are either hidden or don't get the love they deserve. This one is jam packed with great games and I actually had to leave a few games out as there were some good contenders for E. First of all, if you would like to get your name in the crack draw like these guys scrolling past right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where you can pledge for as little as $1. Ok, enough E begging, let's take a look at 10 Amiga hidden gems beginning with E in order of greatness. Kicking us off in 10th place we have Escadra. This is a Polish game and although it's in Polish, you can still play it. It's much like Dogfight apart from its single screen and has wraparound scrolling. It can have up to 3 players and it's a pretty fun party game. In 9th place we have Embryo. Embryo is a super smooth 3D flight sim that I can't believe I have never played. You need the manual to play for the keys or you will struggle, but once you get off and running, it's a great game that I will revisit. Ecstasy is in 8th position. This is the only puzzle game on the list and it's a race against time to compete against an opponent to complete the tracks. The good thing about this game is you can actually sabotage your opponent but that often results in you falling behind with your side but again this is a great 2 player game. Seventh place is taken by The Executioner. So for me this is one of the best finds so far. I have been playing a lot of Thrust in my recent C64 Firebird games video and this is a lot like that. There are different modes in this game but I like the simulation mode that's shown here. If you like games like Thrust then this will be right up your street. In 6th place we have Ebon Star, another absolute cracker of a party game with up to 4 players on at once. It's dead simple, take the other guys out by shooting them into the black hole. It's one that I actually did play back in the day and the fond memories of fights between me and my mates came mushing back. Enemy Tempest of Violence is in 5th position. This is another game that I will revisit. Its game mechanics, while it's been a bit fiddly to get used to at the start, are brilliant and the game has an eerie feel, sort of like Project Firestart, although the game is nothing like that. The music is class too.
fourth place is taking my Earl Weaver baseball. Baseball games, although not a British sport, have always appealed to me. They are so simple to pick up and play, and in Earl Weaver baseball, we got an absolute classic game. Maybe to the American viewers, this might not be hidden, but for me, it's definitely a hidden gem. At bat, nap, Lagoy. <laughs> In third place we have Epsilon 9, the Revenge of the Stingons. So I thought I played most of the good point and clicks on the Omega, but this was one I'd obviously missed. Is it as good as its competitors like Beneath the Steel Sky? No, but it's still a great new adventure for people who have played all the ones that are just that a little bit better. European Champions is in second position, so I'm not sure if this is a hidden gem, I know I certainly played it, but I think it's totally overlooked in favour of Sensible Soccer. As a top down game I have to say that I didn't like it too much, but as soon as the view has changed, this game stops competing with Swass and Kickoff and becomes a great game in its own right. And now, in first place, we have Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Darkmoon, AGA. So many of you might be saying, hidden gem? No way, but this is the AGA version of the game that was released in 2006, and it's improved in every way. The graphics are great, the music is great, and this version has auto mapping, which is something that was missing from the original. If you loved Eye of the Beholder 2, then prepare to be pleasantly surprised by this. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found some great games to check out for your Omega. Let me know in the comments below if you have played any of these, or if you know of any hidden gems beginning with E. Please remember to drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Oh, and if you would like to support the channel like these bunch of hidden gems going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where you can pledge for as little as $1. That will get your name in the end credits, Omega Crack Draw, video requests, giveaways and more in the future. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.